Backhand to backhand continuous game on the short and full court. The purpose is to introduce the backswing for the backhand stroke and refining the backhand shot and placement of the ball. Okay, stand on the uh, short court baseline. Students, in this task, we're going to introduce the backswing. So we're going to start from a ready position. Uh, the uh, racket is tilted a bit forward. Your, uh, your weight is on the balls of your feet, hands together. And what you're going to do is you're going to swing the racket backwards until you get to a position where the handle is facing the net, the racket is facing the fence. Excellent. From here, contact point in front, the lead foot. Make sure that your racket is straight and not falling. Okay, exactly right at waist level. Waist level and in front of your front foot. Finish with a follow through and shuffle back to the center. Let's try this again. From here, one medium. Until, the, until your elbows are almost straight, exactly. Handle to the net, contact point in front, and a follow through, elbows high. If your elbows are flat, your racket is pointing upwards okay so elbows high and return what you're going to do is continuous game a bit challenging continuous game but feed the ball to yourself you can swing forehand no problem with that so you're hitting the ball to the back inside of your um, opponent since you're a lefty and you're a righty you're actually not playing across court you're hitting it straight yes yeah. okay so you're hitting the ball straight so Strings, in this case, would be facing the net like this, so you hit the ball straight. If you would have wanted cross court, you would need to contact the ball right here. Okay, let's try this. We start from the three quarters, short court, and then we'll extend to full court. Remember that you're aiming to circles number one and two on the back side of your player. Start low to high. Contact the ball at waist level. Waist level. Okay, let's try another one. Keep it down, keep the power down a little bit and make sure that you place the ball within the box. It has to bounce within the box. Low to high. Okay, let's try last one. Okay. Thank you. Couple of things to um, remember in this task. First, students need to identify where the ball goes to and then be behind the ball when it bounces. Second, they need to wait for the ball to drop to waist level contact at waist level so you can assume a proper follow through from low to high. Otherwise you would have any other variations and they would probably miss the ball. At this point I would like you to move backwards to the baseline. Critical here is to try to place the ball within the box. Start with a forehand and let's do a continuous rally on your backhand sides. Start low low to high. I need you to try and start low so you can contact at waist level. Low contact, lower. That's right, change your grip. Okay, thank you. One more thing is that you need to look at the student's grip and make sure that they actually rotate the grip. Since it's a backhand on backhand game, they would have to do it for any shot that they get in this rally. Thank you.